Here's a question for you. Have you ever battled with the feeling that you just don't belong, whether it's a social situation or maybe at work? Here's another question for you. Have you ever achieved something only be, to be afraid that someone would doubt or question mm -hmm. your abilities? Well, that could be imposter syndrome. About 70% of people in the U.S. have that. They don't, don't know what it's called, of course. Motivational speaker and author Rich Bracken is live with us once again from up Welcome Minnesota. Welcome back. Good to see you, man. Thank you. How is everybody today? Good. We're good. Oh, wow. I've never heard of this good. imposter syndrome. Yeah, imposter syndrome is a big problem in our country. As you mentioned earlier, it's up to 70% of people feel this at some point. And what it is, it's that internal belief that we're not competent enough or that we're not good enough or that somebody's going to call us a fraud. And it really is a self-limiting self belief that hmm. causes all kinds of problems in our career and our relationships and just in social situations. So how do we know if we're suffering from this? So if you constantly find yourself in that mentality of, ah, I, I shouldn't do this because I'm not good enough, or this oh, isn't yeah. going to be good enough, or people don't want to hear what I have to say, or you get into an analysis paralysis. I've had that happen to me where you get so caught up in what other people are going to say or think about what you contribute to the world that you just don't do anything. So it's really understanding that that voice is only inside your head and it's not anybody else's thoughts. So moving forward is the, the most important thing to do. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, something that uh, therapists would tell you not to do, and that is compare yourself to someone else because it can give you a false sense of what your, what your own self is. And so what kind of problems can this uh, syndrome cause, Rich? Absolutely, and, and you hit the nail on the head. Is that comparison factor, and social media plays a big part of this too, but it causes all kinds of problems. It causes anxiety, it causes depression, it causes, as I mentioned earlier, it causes career problems because we don't feel like we're ready for that next step. Or maybe you want to start a business, but you don't think anybody wants to buy from you. Or if you're in a relationship and you don't feel like you're good enough or you feel like you're limiting yourself in some way, this is going to limit your ability to succeed, the ability to be happy, and the, the ability to achieve happiness in in a long-term sense. So stop using that voice inside your head. Stop giving that voice that real estate to keep you limited. You need to do a Stuart Smalley. I'm good enough. I'm darn well worth it. <laughs> Are there different types of this? Uh, and do you have examples? Absolutely. There's all. There's actually five different types of it, and there are you know things like the perfectionist, where you feel like everything has to be locked in and perfect before you even start. There's the expert. There's somebody that has to know everything before they get going. So you do constant research, and you wind up spending more time in research than actually doing something. There's all kinds of different types of uh, of imposter syndrome, and really all it comes back to is understanding that you are ready, understanding that that little small step is better than nothing at all, because all of these all of these symptoms and all of these characteristics keep you at bay. They keep you from moving forward and they keep you from doing the thing that you really should be doing. So knock it off. Quit being the imposter and understand that everything that you have to contribute to the world, the world needs to hear. So is that how we fight back against this is just taking that step and pushing yourself kind of out of your comfort zone and just doing it as Nike would say? <laughs> Yeah, just do it. And, and, and the swoosh is a perfect thing. So swoosh yourself out of that mentality. And it really is all about sharing your feelings. So I, you know, I always encourage people to have a personal board of directors, people that you trust that you can go to and say, hey, this is what I'm feeling. But is that true? So somebody that's going to give you an honest, candid opinion. If you start, you know, again, stop comparing yourself to people that are either in a successful position or people on social media and limit your social media exposure because we see images, but we see the perfect images. We see the images of people succeeding. We see the people in the in the final stages of things, or maybe they're just putting up a, a facade of success because they want to convey this impress, you know, this impressive mentality or this impressive success, but it really is false. So really limit your social media comparison and limit your time on social media because you're going to constantly think that you're not ready or that you're not good enough or you're not going to be successful enough when you really are. So take those small steps and get out of your comfort zone and move forward. It's time to do it. I, fi I find it uh, odd that 70% of people struggle with this. 
You know, honestly, there are some studies that say it's up to 82 percent, but it's wow. it's not somebody that it's it's not a constant debilitation. It's those little voices in your head. Everybody has experienced it at some point and, and in, in, in small ways. And it's, you know, I may not want to say this because I may think that somebody's going to call me, uh, you know, a fraud or, uh, you know, doubt what I'm about to say. Or I, you know, nobody wants to hear what I think. Nobody wants to hear my opinion on this. That's that's a small case of imposter syndrome. So it's not constantly debilitating but it's that self-doubt that we all struggle with at some point. Okay. At least 70 to 82 percent of us do. You definitely have to know who you are and what you stand for. 100 percent. Okay. Understanding all of those characteristics about yourself and owning it and not being afraid of it. That is the core of understanding We're how to get different. past imposter syndrome. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Rich. Good to see you, Rich. Good to see you, Rich. You can connect with Rich on social media. Check out his podcast. Go to richbracken.com. Go, go.